Every time Tom Cruise's name gets brought up, we must take a drink. There was already enough pressure on the scene, and then Glenn decides one day to say, guys, montages last forever. <laughs> and everybody, like, went into, like, Hyper mode. I, I will say, Tom is like, again, on that mentor. Tom, Tom, oh, Tom, 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 Tom. Welcome to Entertainment Weekly's three rounds with the young guns of Top Gun Maverick. The actors playing the pilots being trained by Tom Cruise in the upcoming uh, sequel to the classic movie Top Gun. My name's Clark Collins and I'm joined by Glenn Powell, Monica Barbaro, Jay Ellis, Danny Ramirez, Lewis Pullman, and Greg Tarzan Davis. Uh, here we are, folks. Round one. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Eyes, 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 eyes. Cheers. Eyes, 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 eyes. Cheers, 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 cheers. Oh, the reach. The reach. Nice reach. As I mentioned in the in, in Top Gun Maverick, you play pilots being trained by uh, Tom Cruise's character. But I understand in real life, I mean, this is sort of echoing uh, real life that, that Tom Cruise put together a, a pretty uh, a pretty tough uh, training regimen for you before you started the, making the movie. Could you talk about that a little? Yeah, Tom designed this incredible aviation course for us. Um, we started in a Cessna, where we learned like basic aviation. Then we moved on to an extra 300, where we did aerobatics. You know, things like his famous what is it? An S. Split S, mm -hmm. um, and had to start pulling G's, sustain G's without a G suit, um, thanks to Chuck Coleman. Shout out to Chuck. 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 Cheers to Chuck. Chuck. Yeah. Guns, Chuck. Guns, guns. Cheers to Chuck. No, cheers, cheers to Chuck. Chuck. Guns, guns, Chuck. guns, 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 guns. Um, and then we moved on to L39, where we got to get into some dog fighting, and um, then a swim test. <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> then we flew in F-18s. Mm -hmm. And what's it like when you're up there and, and, and you're pulling, you know, with extraordinary amounts of Gs? And how much? And how much are you barfing? You know, when like? this is happening? How much Danny, are we, what? Danny, how much are you barfing when you're up there? <laughs> I think uh, most of us could say that we're barfing quite a bit. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the, re the resilience of everyone of. of uh, I've never seen the group of people that puke and rally more than we do. Because uh, we were up there, we had two hours, a two hour window to get, um, to get the scene. And so you realize that you can't let whatever's coming out of you prevent you from getting what you have to get. Um, so it was amazing to, to I mean, some of the stories. <laughs> gotta oh get it, gotta get it. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get it, you have sometimes, to. Yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. it gets, yeah. And, and the, the, the variables, uh, the, the variety of resilience shown, um, by, Lou had very, interesting ways of showing resilience as well. Like mine was just like spewing. Mine was just like, and then cleaning up and then making sure that everything was good and that I looked like I was in control when I was in the back, or not even control, but just like. <laughs> Cheers to the puke rally. <laughs> Cheers to the puke rally. Cheers. 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 Basically after three rally. drinks, you're gonna see what it was like in a cockpit with some of these pilots. Yeah. <laughs> Says the guy drinking water. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he wanted to play the drinking game, is because he knew he was gonna. No, no, no. We are about to. As a matter of fact, let's introduce this right now. We're about, to, we're about to play a drinking game. Okay. This Remember, movie. You change out your drink. Drinking water. Excuse me. Can I get? Um, Did you just snap at somebody? Snap? Oh my gosh! I, I'm so Whoa. sorry. You do one. Don't do that. You do one. Oh changed. my gosh! One movie. Some oh, people wow. change. Some people change. Wow. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm doing for you, bro. Wow. <laughs> may I? May I have a? Um, Cheers to the end of Tarzan's <laughs> career. <laughs> To the end of Tarzan's career. <laughs> we love you, Tarzan. <laughs> so the drinking game is. <laughs> this is a movie uh, about uh, uh, what's this movie about? <laughs> <laughs> I take a few sips and it's already hit me. Um, every time Tom Cruise's name gets brought up, we must take a drink, and I'm not talking about a sip. I mean oh. a gulp. Full name: Tom Cruise, or just Tom? Tom and Cruz, or Cruz, or Tom, or Thomas, or whatever. Tim. R relating to Maverick. Fair enough, okay. fair enough. Take a gulp. So, 
Obviously, your co-star in this film is Tom Cruise. I mean, <laughs> Tarzan, <laughs> oh, what you're thinking. Boy. <laughs> what was it like uh, the first time you met Tom? <laughs> I mean, that's a dream, just so anybody. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, boy. Oh, right. You know, uh, I remember the first time, my first experience meeting him was we did a table read at the production office, and he pulls up on this motorcycle, and the, there's these double doors at the, end of the, at the end of the lobby that open up. And in one move, Tom hops off the motorcycle, pulls his helmet off. His hair is perfect. Like, not, it didn't get smushed or anything. Not a hair sticking up. The helmet just disappears. Like, his hand reaches back, and it floated in the air, honestly. <laughs> and then he walks through the doors, and it was a California day. It was just one of those beautiful, sunny summer days. And, like, the light behind him was, like, this perfect orange. And you're like, this man is an angel. <laughs> <laughs> and then he walks in with this big smile, and he reaches out, and he's like, hey, I'm Tom. Nice to meet you, Jay. And you're like, you know my name? Wait, what? what is happening right now? Such an amazing experience. <laughs> and uh, Glenn, you auditioned with Tom Cruise, right? What, what was that like? I did. Um, you know, I was actually pretty nervous. Uh, you know, Tom's a guy I've been looking up. Oh, Tom, Tom, Tom. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Oh, um, I've been looking up to Tom my whole life, so... Um, before I was gonna g read with him for the audition. Just because you're talking doesn't mean you don't also have to drink every <laughs> time you say Tom. Well, good job, Monica. <laughs> okay. Tom, 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 Tom. Tom. I was nervous. Three, actually. I was nervous to work with this you man. Said, um, oh, shit. Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna go audition with Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and, um,. I was nervous, so what I did is I uh, went over to my buddy's house. He has a Born on the Fourth of July poster in his house, and I did all of my lines to Cruise in the Born on the Fourth of July poster, so that 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 intense stare I could uh, I could hopefully match it. And then you know when you meet him, you know you forget that he's one of the biggest movie stars in the world. He's very personable. He's very authentic, and I think we can all call him a a friend and mentor now, which is pretty cool. And the original film has this iconic uh, volleyball scene, whereas the new film um, has a uh, football scene. What was it like sort of prepping for that and, and shooting that? Oh, it was madness. I mean, I've never seen so many people like in the gym constantly and then eating healthy. I hate eating healthy. And we had to eat these protein bar, protein bowls at the place down the street. We would go after yeah. after work. Oh, that Jack had us like have the exact perfect combination of protein macros and all these things. Yes, yeah. but at <laughs> night. The way they would talk about like hydrating, then dehydrating, and then like at two o'clock you got like cut sold and at this there was and already enough pressure on the scene, and then Glenn decides one day to say, guys. Montages last forever. <laughs> Everybody like went into like hyper mode. Like he's it's right. Because he's right. Yeah. It's true. A montage yeah. is remembered for like it, it brings so much texture to the moment that like that drove us up the wall. I think I first realized that when we were working out in the gym here at the hotel and uh, you were whispering under your breath. I was like, I was, like and you were like. <laughs> I was like, wait, sorry, that. Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> 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 And you, you know, you shoot the film, uh, and then obviously the pandemic happens. And, you know, you, the film is sort of put on the shelf for a couple of years. What was that, what was that experience like for you? Well, it wasn't put on the shelf for a couple of years. It kept almost, it kept coming off the shelf, and then, nope, nope, <laughs> putting it back <laughs> on the shelf. But, you know, all for the very reason that, you know, everyone's so excited about seeing it the other day at CinemaCon. I mean, this film was made to be viewed in a theater. They designed special cameras to, that the IMAX cameras to go, to be able to pull cheese and go certain speeds. These batteries were like special made. I mean, and, and also to have that community feel, like th yeah. this is designed for the theater and to get people back in the theater. And they just, you know, rightfully so, weren't gonna put that there until theaters could be at full capacity. Mm -hmm. What was it like the first time you saw the, the finished film? Oh, man. We were we, all sitting. There's eight of us. We were all together in a 500 seat theater that was empty. We were still spread out, like very far spread oh, out, like yeah, six or seven masks. seats we between. We had our mask yeah. on. And I just remember Tarzan comes in the room. Do you guys remember this? Oh, yeah. yeah. Coming down the aisle. Let's go, 
<laughs> just screaming at the top of his lungs before the movie even started. But then at the end of the movie, it was the the, 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 the beautiful speech. Yes, he did give a very speech. beautiful speech. Yeah, that was yeah. 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 beautiful because it, it brought back like we hadn't seen each other in so long, and, and everything that we put to make this movie was very. That's one of the best speeches you've ever given. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it reminded me of that Independence Day speech. No. Oh, he does make a lot of speeches. Uh, I'm sorry, are you comparing your Except Independence what? Day speech to, to his dad? To Bill Pullman, the greatest president ever? Honestly, I, I did have the best seat in the house to your speech, and I would say it's pretty comfortable. Well, your dad is going to disown you. Ooh. He would agree. <laughs> he, nobody knows a, be a good speech better than him. And then you watched the film with an audience at, at CinemaCon recently. What, what was that like? Well, did, only Glenn. Glenn. Oh, Glenn has a pretty good doing that. Yeah. yeah. It was, you could have uh, FaceTimed us in, dude. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you, you know what's actually crazy? Is there was a thing, if anybody's phone uh, glowed or if anybody picked up their phone, there was a guy with a laser pointer that would shine a light. So people were like popping off and glowing. Oh, wow. There was lasers coming down to make wow. sure nobody was recording or on their phone in the movie. That okay. sounds That's phenomenally terrifying. distracting. It was, yeah, it was. <laughs> I was like, geez. <laughs> Um, I gotta say, really watching this movie. movie with an audience, we'll all get to do that, you know, on Wednesday. It was, I mean, people were fist pumping and high fiving and sobbing, leaving the theater. And you just realize this movie means so much to so many people. And the fact that we hit a mark that people thought was impossible, it's just, it's the coolest thing. I mean, we're part of something that I think is gonna go down as one of the coolest movies ever made. Hmm. Didn't you say there were two dudes crying they were, and high-fiving? No, the they, 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 they both yeah. walked out next to each other. They obviously, I'm pretty sure they knew each other, but they were just like, <sighs> <laughs> like that, you know, they were, I, I was like, the story if they didn't know each other. Yeah, totally. Yeah, really yeah. 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 Tell that story. It brings people they together. Each other. Okay, so that's the end of round one. Cheers. 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 To Tom. To Tom. To Tom. Cheers. 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 God, can I send any more British? Sorry. That was awesome. That was beautiful. <laughs> Not more British oh, than me, Mike. Cheers. 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 So, when you're shooting the film, where are you staying, like, like at night? Oh, it's a mix. We stayed here. We stayed in the hotel here in San Diego, where we're doing this press tour at. We stayed. Uh, we stayed on base in Fallon. Uh, we stayed at a casino in Lemoore. Oh man, you guys yeah, remember we, that? Yeah, yeah. We sure did. yeah. That was, was that the Golden Nugget? Oh. Blowing money sideways. No, the Tachi Palace. Tachi, Tachi, Tachi Palace. Palace. Oh yeah. yeah. We'd be so Island. We stayed. The Roosevelt? Yeah, we'd be Island. We stayed on base, and then we stayed on the Roosevelt. We were on the carrier out to sea. And what's it like, like staying on an aircraft carrier? What, I mean, what do you do for hijinks on, on an aircraft carrier? Well, it's kind a of a, a liability, <laughs> the hijinks on it. What, what were the roommate assignments here? Uh, the you best one. And it was me and Miles. Miles me and we Danny. Yeah, yeah. You were with Claudio. Claudio. I was with Claudio, the DP. The DP. That was a master class. Yeah. Yeah, I would go to, he, he had the longest hours. I don't know how that man functions, because he would come into our room at like, 11.30 at night after scouting the whole the, the whole aircraft carrier. And then he would like watch some movies on his on his little <laughs> screen. And then he would wake up at like four in the morning and I would have little slivers of the day where he'd tell me like, yeah, I just watched this movie and I, I learned this and I learned that. And I learned so much in those two weeks and I, um, I feel bad for you guys that you guys didn't get to experience that. <laughs> yeah. Were you, is this why you have so many close ups in the film? That, yeah, yeah, Claudia and I, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, sorry, wait. That's Claudia. Is that Claudia? <laughs> <laughs> you know, obviously you're busy shooting a movie, but what what would you what are you getting up to together when on your on your on your hours off? Oh, we're having drinking parties, drinking contests. <laughs> we are? No. <laughs> we we are? No, there was we we just realized that we all hadn't gone out to get we've always been missing one person from all our nights out. So yeah. we might hit the town these days. Yeah. We did a lot of gym time. Are we gonna do that? We did a lot of gym time. I think we're doing that right now. I think we spent a lot of time in the gym together. But one place that we probably all consistently went together was the gym. I was in that gym so much. So much, Lou. So much. Yeah, you were so disciplined. 
Because it was it was skins versus shirts, I've never right? had and anyone, I was the only shirt. I've yeah. never had anyone <laughs> so dedicated to handing me weights. It was the most amazing yeah. thing. I was always there for you. you I was always you there for you. For me. Yeah. And I will I, never forget I you for that. Oh, they so, had, there, shit. so there's this, uh, the, the video, the drumline video of you guys battling. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's one of my favorite gym videos awesome. of all time. Oh, yeah. yeah that, that was that was a masterpiece. I felt bad that I missed that day. I, I had a lot of FOMO. Really? On the day that, yeah, you shot that. Was I that Lamore? I went to that was, that was Lamore. That was Lamore. That was Lamore. I, I think yeah. I might have been flying. You two must have yeah, been yeah, flying. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was, sh I was shooting the video. Guys, again, I'm the Oh, no, no, you were there for the, the first part of the video, and then, because um, <laughs> we were doing, remember the bikes that you, that you yeah. then, like, oh, yeah. I don't know how oh. you got that thing to move. <laughs> And then you guys were both moving the actual equipment. It was the a stationary exercise. bike that you yeah. actually got to use as a mode of transportation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the first time that you all saw uh, Top Gun, the first movie. Mm. Well, I was, uh, I'll, I'll start off by saying I saw it as a, I'm a late bloomer to the game. I saw it as a college sophomore. And I remember just walking Same. away thinking, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Y'all saw it together? Uh, also NYU. Hey. Hey, did y'all see it together? <laughs> no. Oh, oh. I'm older uh, than him. <laughs> could have been cool. <laughs> we should have just, yeah, just, just we, we watched it together. Yeah, it's we so watched crazy. it together small was sophomore year at NYU. Mm -hmm. And I remember walking away just thinking like, oh, if there was ever a sequel, it would be amazing to take part in it because it's just, it's magic. So the fact that it happened and after 33 years, we were here. It's because I manifested it into existence. Wowzer. <laughs> Thank you so much, Danny. Yes, Has Tom Cheers. thanked you? <laughs> I saw it for the first time on an Air Force base in Austin, Texas. Uh, my dad was in the Air Force, and we lived on Berkshire Air Force Base. And uh, I remember going to the base on theater, and it was packed. Uh, families, pilots, mechanics, just tons of folks who support uh on the base and the feeling of watching or, or just being in a room with so many people who felt like they were on screen and they were being portrayed on screen like it was like screaming it was hooting it was high-fiving and like fist bumps and it was just this crazy experience to see like all of these people who really fly jets for a living watching this thing as if it were like a brand new thing that like they've never experienced in their life. And, it, and, and I guess they hadn't at that time. And that was just such a wild experience. It just made me, I think the power of film for me really stands out in that moment and like how powerful storytelling is. Well, and then we got to open a screening yeah. and would be, and I remember it was just so cool to hear you tell that story. Cause like now you were yeah. gonna be the guy they were watching. It was like, it was hitting you all at once. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 This is the first time he's had alcohol in a few years. I think Tom would love it. I think Tom would love it. I think Tom would love it. I'm dying. Oh, this is great. This, this is flashbacks of an entire San Diego night where they had a drinking competition throughout. Um, to which I powered through one. It's one of the most one. powerful peer pressure communities you could ever sit in. He has a healthy had a peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly what I mean. Glenn, you saw it when you were 10? Yeah, my uh, my dad introduced me to the original Top Gun when I was 10. I liken it to basically like, you know, a dad asking his son to play catch for the first time. He like really, you could tell in his eyes, like he really cared about this moment, that this was a big moment for him. And, <clears throat> you know, he handed me the VHS and we sat down and I could tell he was just watching me while I was watching it, seeing how I was reacting to certain moments. And, um, you know, and when we went on the naval base, it's just amazing how many of these aviators, Top Gun was the reason they became aviators. When they go out and they try to explain what they do to people, they're like, oh, you ever seen Top Gun? That, yeah. That's me. And mm. I think it's really cool that, you know, the first movie inspired a generation of aviators. I think our movie is going to do the same. So it's cool to be a part of that legacy. Woo. Uh, it, it inspired one particular new aviator by the name of... Yeah, yeah, I... I <laughs> Not a, not, not a naval aviator, you know. I'm, not, I'm, I'm flying a little bit different horsepower uh, <laughs> than they are in the movie, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm a licensed pilot sense. now. What? I said only in the belly button sense. I regret it. <laughs> Wait. I say, cheers <laughs> to that. <laughs> cheers, Mike. What are the other films that inspired uh, you to take up acting? To, oh, to, boom. Uh, Denzel Washington. Mm. What movie? Is that a movie? John, or John, John Q. Oh, John Q. Oh, oh, the drink is the drink. That might actually there might be alcohol in there. 
Based no, on no, that no, answer, no, 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 what movie? You? No, he said what movie? You said oh, Denzel. No, I, I, you didn't let me finish. You didn't let me finish. It was a dramatic pause. Can someone get us uh, a water? <laughs> so we have Training Day. John Q. John Q. Mm -hmm. Man on Fire. Man on Fire. Man on Fire. There we go. What about you, Danny? For me, it was um, Shawshank. Uh, Shawshank Redemption was just one of the movies that started it all just... And then also, wait, oh my God, this is the one that I should go for. Um, City of God. Ciudad de Dios was one that I saw during my social studies uh, 11th grade class. Uh, our teacher would always show us films. And um, yeah, that's the one that I was like, that storytelling became really powerful. And um, I realized like the, the scope and scale of movies you could, and stories you could tell. Uh, Lewis? <laughs> Um, well, I wasn't allowed to watch TV growing up, weirdly enough, um, and, but we were allowed to watch two movies a weekend. And so, but we had, we would go to the Blockbuster and every once in a while, but also I spent a lot of time in Montana and we had the same set of, D, uh, of, of VHSs, one of which was Legend, starring Tom Cruise. Mm. Has anyone seen that? <laughs> <laughs> because he's, he is a youngin' in that. And he is incredible. And it is one of those movies that's so fantastical and so kind of like, just, yeah, just like mythological. And he had such conviction and he had such a sense of like, he took it so, uh, with, with such weight and he, he treated it with such like responsibility um, with, with like, you know, really mythical mm -hmm. subject matter. And I, I, I remember thinking that was pretty spectacular, and and that and Stand by Me, you know, River Phoenix and Stand by Me, that's pretty cool. Yeah, what, did, did your dad yeah. influence you at all? I mean, oh, um, of course. I, I talked to my dad uh, about acting before. He goes, nah, not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, sorry. Who? Who's the actor? <laughs> um, no, he's obviously. I mean, that goes without saying. He's one of my biggest influences of all time. I go to him with any questions, anytime. Nobody, nobody. Um, really can seem to understand, you know, the 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 weird like problems that you might have as well as him because he knows me better than anyone and he also knows the business better than anyone. Mm -hmm. um, and so I just felt like that was a given. I didn't even want to say that. Time, so. I, well, I mean, people go unappreciated. Give them their flowers, man. By the way, do you guys remember the the moment where uh, we wrapped a little early and we stood by the trailers and Tom talked about a few yeah. good men? Yeah. about the making yeah, of A Few yeah, Good yeah. Men by the trailer. That was, that was one of my favorite memories is, is Tom sat there and he walked us through what it was like to shoot that uh, final scene in A Few Good Men with Nicholson and you know him going back and forth and what Nicholson was doing, what his process was, who, which famous actors were in the audience watching them shoot at that time. And it was really, you got to watch him geek out, you know, because he knows like the effect, like we're all looking to him like, a guy that has all the answers, right. and he's going back in his career saying like, hey, I didn't have all the answers. I was geeking out the same way <laughs> you are here. And it was just, um, I don't know, that's a really special moment that really, I think, solidified the mentorship role that he took with all of us uh, over the course of this thing. And then, yeah, and then we would wrap like, and then... Brought... Oh, we, sorry. we would rap and then we would he would tell us stories for like two hours. hours. We would just stand and in McHugh. a circle after yeah. a long yeah. day. And McHugh, life. it was like every day we got like, it was this master class. Like it was like Monday was Tom Day, Tuesday was McHugh Day, yeah. <laughs> Wednesday yeah. was Tom Day. Yeah, drink, Jerry drink. Too, yeah. And Jerry, yeah. Cheers. Down there. You don't have to lie it's on seven years. No, I gotta, I gotta see cheers. my eyeballs. Yeah, yeah. Seven years of bad sex is not. <laughs> Cyborgs. And so, uh, have you stayed? I mean, have you stayed in touch with each other since the shoot? Has, has Tom sort of continued to, to be a part of your lives? What? Tell us about Wait, that. Wait, I think we all text. <laughs> oh, come on. I think we all text him semi regularly. We try not to bug him, but. I text him Tell every him night. Yeah. <laughs> I text good night. Good, good morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I don't get a response, but sometimes. Hope you have a good day. <laughs> yeah. How's your day going? Just thinking about you. I see I seen you on top of a, a train. <laughs> <laughs> like, was it scary? <laughs> <laughs> you know, biplanes. What? 
what? <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got him. Oh. We we literally actually do that with each other. We were all sending each other good night messages last night. I mean, we yeah, we sit together all day, going. and we, then we're like, where are you going to, are you going to go eat? Um, yeah. Which is pretty rare. I feel like after a project, usually those threads kind of like get a little slower and slower. Trauma and slower. bonding. Trauma bonding. Trauma bonding. That's what it is. Yeah, you ever flew an F-18 before? I mean, not today. But you probably have. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you probably have a Super Bowl ring, though. Yeah. Because we don't got one, and more people got a Super Bowl ring than they have an F-18 fly. Like, what he, was that? He's feeling like, really left reconstruct out. Reconstruct that All sentence. Of a sudden, I'm not trying to explain. No, he's doing the whole, like, Reconstruct Johnny the Depp, sentence. Uh, prior to the what, I, what I'm saying is trauma bonding is real. Have you ever been through trauma? I think I'm going through it right now. <laughs> I think you are, too. Unfortunately, I am sorry for you. I'm sorry. Oh. But he's been, he's been, um, I mean, <laughs> we've stayed in contact with him, and, and he's, uh, with who? Me? With uh, Tom. Yes, with you. With you Tom. You just said with it. With Tom. Um, <laughs> and uh, he's been supportive in anything, in any of our storytelling endeavors, and um, for all of us, I think, across the board, he's, he's continued as a mentor, and... Um, yeah, I don't know. And we very, yeah. we very much stay in contact yeah. with each other. Yeah. We all text nonstop. Yeah. Uh, we see each other when we're out of town, if we're randomly in the same city. Like, mm -hmm. we actually, we just went, all went to drinks together. Jay, let me stay Dad, at his he, guest house. He just stayed at my house yeah. last week. I Daddy planted a drinks for yeah, us yeah. like three weeks yeah. ago and then ditched us and didn't oh, show yes. up. Yes, you, well, you right. did plan it. You and we all met up and you know, I couldn't go. Yeah. Oh, well, you I got couldn't go. I, got, I, I was, it was during the, during the prep for a, a, a specific project and I got really sick based on the prep. Yeah. That's what you said. Yeah, I just don't understand. You sent a text message out at like 1 p.m. to yeah, go drink to see out. you guys. I'm sorry that I backed out to not get you guys. Well, you, got, you got sick, but we found out it wasn't COVID, and we were like, no, that's not I an didn't, excuse. I didn't find out it wasn't COVID until the day after. No. Mm. Sorry, I just I'm getting knew guilted for. Wow. I mean, um, but anyway, I love you guys because you guys are like family. Cool. Oh. Honestly, <laughs> also, like a bunch of us are trying to make projects happen for the future because we just can't get enough of, of each, each other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, Tom, Tom had yeah. notes on Lou the project. Lou and Danny are making together. a project that's awesome. And the one, the one thing that I thought was I really cool one. is that they sent me the deck. They also were like, they sent me the deck before, and I was like, all right, I'll read through it. Let me get to it in a couple days. They sent it to Tom. Tom read it faster than I did. <laughs> that, but that's the other thing is, I, I will say, Tom is, like, again, on that mentor. Tom, 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 Tom. We were talking about this earlier. Like, we couldn't, we talk about how lucky we were that Tom was on this film to have this wild, oh, boy, <laughs> wild experience. Um, but it, it, it doesn't exist without him. That I think is just incredible. I mean, like, like I, uh, someone was asking me, like, how does the studio let you do this? And it's it's all Tom. I'm sorry, it's really hard not to say his name. Um, it's all him because th n none of this exists without him. I'm getting drunk. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> just power through bro. Power through bro. Without who? <laughs> I'm babying this drink right now. Yeah, without yeah. him? Oh, oh, him? Wow. You know, I didn't realize it was it was hitting me until I tried to I form it, normal exactly. sentences. These are doubles. You know what? I, one of the things I think is really amazing me. about this entire thing is like, a. <laughs> Thank God for you. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. I don't don't worry about it, guys. I don't get drunk. I don't get tired. Oh, I quite. Oh, oh, oh no! We have, to, we have to explain this to Take you. Take a sip of this how, one. How do we explain, but you explain, it? You'll explain it? You'll tired. explain it after I give my point. Um, okay, go. <laughs> No, but I think, in all honesty, one of the things that I think is so crazy is because we've all experienced this, and obviously this, the projects haven't been of this scale and this size and this important to like film and to a community of folks, maybe necessarily, but like we are walking away as friends, mm -hmm. and that's not normal. Yeah. A lot of people say it but it's actually not that normal of a thing. And like we legitimately all, like folks have ran auditions together, yeah. folks have like looked over scripts and, and decks for projects, people have developed projects together. Traveled together. Traveled together, put up auditions, like or, or suggested each other for roles. Like mm -hmm. it, it is this bond that was created between us is so powerful and it's because of Tom. Like it's because of his mentorship and it's, it's really cool. And also it's only six people 
maybe seven uh, in LA who probably can say that they filmed a movie in an F-18. Can probably. And we're all right here. <laughs> we're all right here. Like, that's such a crazy thing. There's a lot of actors out there, and we're the only six at this table, seven with Miles, eight with the boss, who can say. Andre, that counted. Oh, that counted. That counted. That counted. Can't guys. You can say that we we filmed an F-18. Like that is Never remarkable. It's crazy. Yeah. What is the moment or the day that you'll remember from the from this whole experience? Do you think? I think the first van ride that I joined mm -hmm. in on was for whatever reason that's the one I could maybe see the entirety of those six hours, and a little bit was we expressed the fear of being replaced <laughs> <laughs> at the end of it. But everyone was trying to like we were trying to get off on the right foot. You guys had experience the previous weekend, but I remember being there and just like seeing how amazing you guys all were. And I was like, it was the it was a moment that I had to pinch myself of like what we were about to go on. And then I was like, well, they're so amazing. And I'm like, am I gonna get replaced based on this? I'm like, it, 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 my self worth was like really it was brought up the moment we continued this because I was like, these are amazing actors, amazing people, and. Yeah, even on the drive back when we then all opened up of like, oh, shit, I thought like mm -hmm. we were done for. Um, that's just like that to me is one of the most special moments. I, I would say passing the, um, the, the the swim test was a special moment that we all made it through the completion of, of, of I guess, graduation to the F-18 because we all trained, you know, in the um, Cessna, the extra 300 L-39 and, and to see all of us finish it was like a, 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 a weight of relief off his shoulders. Yeah, yeah. Lewis? I think in the beginning of our whole process, I was, I was not trying to be method by any means, but I, I think Bob is kind of quiet and a, and a little more reserved. And I didn't talk for like three days. <laughs> um, just because I was like, how, what does that feel like to be kind of the guy who's like in the corner, who's always watching and listening, but not contributing? And um, yeah, that was why. <laughs> <laughs> and also because I was like, these are all really established, very cool, awesome actors. And also, I'm terrified to go <laughs> F-18. And am I am I supposed to be here? Um, but I, I think for me, literally, like it was it was that probably first night where we went to the was it the Oak Club? Yeah, which was like. Mm. It, it, it was a Navy bar, and it, it just felt like everyone really took us in, and we instantly kind of like were absorbed in this world. And I was like, I, 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 th I think I can, I think I can be a part of this thing. And, I, and it was because of because of everyone else being like, Yeah, dude, you can do it. Like we. <laughs> <laughs> but the funny thing about you having an emotional connection to that day is that's also the the moment when Jay took your phone, put it on the bar, and made you buy everyone in and the sort of, bar yeah. drinks. That's, what that's exactly oh what we're trying to do. It's a little so Stockholm you. syndrome me yeah, that yeah. you're like, I love yeah. these guys. I, I know, guess it's wrong, by the way. Yeah. If you put so, your cell phone, if you leave your cell phone on the bar, you have to buy the entire bar a round of drinks. So Jay put his cell phone on the bar, so he had to buy the entire round for the entire officer. I was bar. quiet, dude, trying to f <laughs> and he goes, hey, hey man, and, and can Jay I see your goes phone? Like, hey buddy, sorry, we haven't talked that much. Can I see your phone for a second? I just want to look something up. I was like, I was like, <laughs> he, he's like, yeah, too, totally, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like, ring the bell. And everyone's yeah. like, yeah, we're getting free drinks. And I was like, wait, wait, sorry. Uh, that was the first words I probably spoke. I was like, sorry, wait, what are the rules here? What's going on right now? Jay was like, it's probably one yeah. of my finer moments, to be honest. <laughs> it was good. I'm, I'm actually well really proud of myself well for that one. But Jay well broke you out of your shell. Cheers, Tom. It took you out of your Tom. shell. Tom, Tom. Well, folks, thank you so much uh, for being here Come today. On, bro. You're, you're cheers, to, <laughs> cheers, <laughs> cheers to all of you. Uh, and this has been Entertainment Weekly's Three Rounds with the cast of Top Gun, which is released May 27th. Only in theaters. And if you made it all the way through, we apologize. Oh,